There is a a quote in Jeremiah that um, has been one of my favorites since the first time I heard it. And it is, and I will write my law on their inmost parts. I might not have it exactly right, but the reason it always made me light up is that our, the resonance with the truth of how we're designed is already in our inmost parts. And I think the second part is, and they shall be my people and I shall be their God. That might sound like um, something really religious, but to me, it's about communion, about divine and visitation, because it's in our inmost parts. We are connected that way. This morning, I was talking about selective vision, selective listening. Like, are we listening for the divine in our world? And are we bringing the voice of the divine? Because one of the ways the divine is experienced is through other people. In the story of Abraham that we shared last week, um, the Lord came as men to his tent. Not even though that it was quite a biblical story, you know, it's it's not always going to be a cha cha, you know, the, 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 the fireworks and the light shining. But it often is. I mean, I've been in the presence where my whole being shifted by being in the presence of someone who is bringing the divine. Because it's already in my inmost parts, and there's this communion, this fire, this ignition that happens, and usually for both people, not just for for myself. I was watching a television show yesterday called Irrational. It's about this man who's a social scientist, and his job is to see things that people aren't paying attention to, or see how behavior reveals things. And he showed that video to a person that many of us have seen, where they ask the person to count how many times the ball goes to the people in the yellow shirts. So they're watching the video and counting the ball moving. And then the professor said, um, did you notice the grizzly bear? And there was no grizzly bear. And then they show him the video again. And this grizzly bear walks right across the screen. And he said, we have selective vision. And if we're told to look for something, we miss other things. So we can also have selective vision and hearing and expression. That when we are expressing and looking for the divine, we'll see it everywhere. I see it everywhere. <laughs> 